But you're not supposed to say yes. No, don't! Alex, really? stop! You're probably watching this because you want to know all the juice about you away. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm joined with two of my best friends. Our best friends. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Dash. I'm Alec. We all actually just finished our first year at UOA and so I thought it'd be a really good idea to get them into a video with me and we're going to basically just do like a Q&A type video. So we have our food. We got Wendy's. Chicken nuggies. Because we're on a budget. Yeah, because we're on a budget. Gonna Does budget. everyone want to show them what you got? <laughs> Okay, I got fries and <gasps> everyone's just <laughs> eating bread today. <laughs> Look, Alex already eating. Oh, and eating my bread. chicken nuggets. I mean, I have four, but the other one fell inside. Show what them what you got. Got fries. What's this again? What do they call it? Floaty. A floaty, chocolate floaty. <laughs> Wait, these aren't even cooked. Open. They're baked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Tell them how we met. Uh, Wednesday and I met in year two. We absolutely hated each other's guts. And then I think I became closer in like intermediate. Year six. Year six. We were in the same math class. Oh yeah. We were, oh yeah. We were in the same math class. Alec, how did we meet? We were sitting in accounting class and then Dash started hitting on me. What? Nah, just no. Dash started asking me about a party that we went to. A com commerce Stein, something? Stein, yeah. That was a shit one. But yeah, that's how we bonded over shit parties. And then I was sitting next to Dash, so then us three just became best friends. I have a whole bunch of questions on my phone that I am going to ask these guys over here. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of questions that um, maybe if you guys are wanting to come to UOA or you're already a student at UOA or whatever and you just want to get our views on it, do you want to tell them what degree you are pursuing at UOA and what your majors are? Bachelor of Commerce and majoring in commercial law and international business. Okay, so the whole reason why I made this face was because Alec was a management and international business major and then obviously I switched to a commercial law major and he also decided to switch to a commercial law major as well, I guess. So I was just shocked because I didn't know he had switched to a commercial law major and yeah, continuing on. Same as okay. you. <laughs> so I am Bachelor of Commerce and I am majoring in commercial law and marketing. Um, I'm studying commerce and law and I am majoring in emphasis and for law I'm still undecided. Okay, yeah. good. You're probably watching this because you want to know all the juice about your way. So, um, like I said, we have just completed our first years at your way. How do you guys think that your exam went for the second semester of your first year? Way better way better i think way all, better yeah definitely agree yeah. um yep alec i actually passed this time yeah <laughs> we all passed Shocker. all our exams i'm sure we all did yes yeah, yeah. much better Ooh. than our first semester and it's completely normal to like not do very well on your very first semester of your yeah. first year that's normal everyone goes through it we all well i know i can speak for myself but i know i reckon we all did i feel like yeah. when you start off they just throw you in the deep end mm. and you're kind of just left alone to figure everything out on your own and you're not so. used to it you're just not used to the routine you're it's a lot harder i mean like it's smooth for like the first three weeks and then it's like boom 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 i want you in my room like then it gets really hard mm. what is one thing that you guys dislike about your way about going to school at UOA. Everyone's just antisocial. Yeah, everyone's snobby as hell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I think everyone knows that about UOA. Everyone's yeah. like, oh, it's just not in a friendly environment. Mm -hmm. That's sort of is. just the reputation that UOA has. Yeah. What is one thing you guys like about UOA? Can I say nothing? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't actually know. What about you, Alec? How big it is. Not like always clustered together with people. So it's like quite a big campus. Really? I think it's pretty small. I reckon, I reckon the buildings are big. really nice. Like the new ones. Like oh, OGGB. OGGB is really nice. Yeah. That's the business building and that is the building where we, I don't know about well, you. All three of us. All go. three of us spend yeah. most of our time in is the OGGB building, which you guys would have seen in my vlogs. It is the business building where most of the first years are in. Overall, how was your first year experience at UA? <laughs> I think the start of the year was like rough. 
and like <clears throat> there wasn't as much support you mm -hmm. know unless you had like really good friends then you were like good mm. if you were by on, if you were on your own then it's like Game over. Yeah, yeah pretty much if you are coming to your way you don't know anyone you don't have any friends it's going to be really difficult for you especially like get around because yeah. the campus is so big if you don't know your way around to places, you'll literally get lost it's so big yeah I love how Alex is eating in the back, eh? I'm a lip balm. <laughs> a lip balm. Okay. So. No, he said he's putting it in his lip balm. Oh, lip balm. <laughs> he said lip balm. Okay. Juicy, juicy. So. He wants to get juicy for the ladies. Alec, <laughs> <laughs> like, are you single? Go tell him. Yeah, Alec, like, are you single? I'm committed to God. <laughs> Classes. Academics. This is a question that I kind of get sometimes on my uni videos. People kind of ask me. And I gotten dms from you guys some of you have asked me like how are uh, how i find the classes to be and how hard are the academics so i'm going to go into the classes at ua so you guys want to tell them what classes you took last semester so semester two of your first year what classes did you take okay so i took my um <clears throat> Core law papers, which was law one through one, law one for one. And what are they? Um, one through one is. One through one is more of like analyzing stuff. It's more about like knowing those tools, having those tools. Um, and then one for one is like knowledge based. It's like up to do with tikanga Māori and environmental, international law, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I took obviously business, business one hundred two, which is the marketing side of things. And then my gen ed, which was youth one five two. Um, and it's just about, about youth psychology. I took two gen eds, I took sustainability and environmental science, and I took two core papers, commercial law and business 102. Okay, and I took commercial law, business 102, um, I also took... <laughs> same, same sis. Commercial law... Oh, exercise science. Exercise science. <laughs> That was my gen ed. <laughs> Cannot forget this one. Economics. Which one was your hardest paper of your first year and why was it the hardest paper? I think we'll all agree. Wait, like overall? The whole year or just semester? The whole year. Which one was your hardest Accounting paper? Accounting 101. fucking one. I cannot do math, so I struggled. Neither can I. Alec? Infosys. That stuff was nerdy stuff. Oh, that was oh, weird. That it was boring. too bad. Okay, for me, it was my economics paper. Hands down, it was the hardest paper I've ever done because especially if you never did economics in high school, then you'll find it so hard. It's rough. It's definitely so rough. What was your most enjoyable paper? I think the genie that I did because it was just piss easy. Mm -hmm. It was just like general knowledge. So I highly encourage if you want a GPA booster, take Youth 152. Really good. Hello. Mine was MVSci because the tutorial classes, you met some like decent blokes in there. So you just get to mess around and not really do your work, but still pass if you put in like 20%. And my most enjoyable paper was my, I'd say my commercial law paper, I really enjoyed <clears> that one and it was the whole reason why I actually switched to a commercial law major because I was actually a management and marketing major, but it was because I really enjoyed that paper, that's why I switched to a commercial law Welcome major. Welcome to the law world. <laughs> world. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest, what would you rate the difficulty of the classes at UOA to be? I would say a good 7. I feel like they're not that challenging if you put in the hard work, mm -hmm. but if you really don't give a shit and you're not really trying hard, not watching your lectures and like doing your readings for law example, then you won't, like, you'll really struggle, like you'll really struggle, so yeah. Good old six. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Fine, eight. <laughs> for Alec, maybe a ten. Yeah, maybe. Like, mm, <laughs> nah. Yeah. Um, for me, I'd probably say it really depends on the classes that you are taking. But I, for the most part, I would agree it'd be like a seven or eight. It really depends. Gen eds are usually a little bit more easier. But your core classes, like, you know, for the papers that as a commerce student you have to do, like, business is okay, it's not very difficult, but, um, like, you know, economics if you've never done it, or commercial law, those are very content-heavy papers, and those tend to be not hard, but it's just, like, you mm. do need to put in a lot more work. And they are compulsory papers, so mm. you really do need to do well in them. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if you're, like, doing a conjoint, like I am, with, like, another degree that has, like, a 
a GPA system, like you need to make sure you're on top of it and doing really, really well. Yeah, so especially like really matter. especially like for law. Exactly, and like need, mid, yeah, and like engineering as well. Mm -hmm. Like you need to be on top of your game for mm -hmm. that. Next section is the social life at your way. <laughs> what social life? <laughs> Okay, so the first question is how would you describe the social life at your way to be like? It's alright, if you want to meet people go to Steins. That's how you meet a lot of people. And <laughs> it's just so true. Especially like the commerce Steins and people who are doing your degree and in the business school I'd say. Just decent. Yeah. I agree. <clears throat> um, well there's no like, as, as we've already said, there's no like not a lot of people that are social. They're yeah. just for like to themselves. Mm -hmm. Like you can go sit in a lecture and say hi to somebody next to you, and they'll no. be like, "Oh." Okay. Alex was probably the only person that was like, "Oh, hi!" Like actually making an effort. But I don't know. But they, what he said is also right. Stein is the best way to pe meet people, especially if you're like that party outgoing type of person. Then that's definitely the place to be. Yeah. That's something I probably regret not doing in my first year. Never went to a Stein. Yeah. Because Alex, you went to two Steins. To like seven. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I've only been to two. Yeah, if you are going to come to UA, definitely look at like the events that are going to come up. Like, there are a lot of Steins engineering, commerce, probably like science, there's heaps of them, and that would probably be, be a good way to go and meet people. But for the most part, I will say that UA is pretty like antisocial, like, most people like to keep to themselves and it doesn't really help that most of us are domestic students so mm. that means we live at home and we what I found is that most people stick to their high school groups yeah so I know like for me that's kind of true like most of my friends that I do say hi to or like hang out with at uni not that I really hang out with anyone anyways because mm -hmm. I can't just do my shit <laughs> and go home but yeah most of like the people that I do hang out with is people I know like these two and um, my high school friends yeah. that's something Sorry. I'm kind of like I think we're all guilty of yeah. doing now, I was pretty lucky that I had like friends that are older than me that, like, that would be a good tip as well if you've got friends that are older than you already in uni you can kind of just tag along with them <coughs> and like don't want people that are in your year and then you guys can become friends and get along because that's what happened with me as well mm -hmm. so I was quite lucky in that case I had like people that I already knew and if you know that, if you have the same, then take advantage of that, right? Mm hmm So. For sure. Okay. Next question. Have you made any new friends at uni? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. I would say. Okay. Um, for me, like realistically speaking, I haven't actually made as many friends that I thought I would make, but in saying so, like, it is really hard to make friends at UA. If you go to UA, I'm pretty sure that like, you can vouch for this. Yeah. Um, but I have made some new friends in my tutorial classes. My like business 102, which we all took last semester. It's like group work, and I've made like some friends through there. But I do feel like everyone sticks to their friends. I feel like yeah, everyone sticks yeah. to the people that they know, and I feel like friendship at UA is very like superficial and very transactional. Like it's not very like genuine. Like it's not yeah. like this, you know. Like, like no one really like looks out for each other like this. It's like everyone's in it for their own benefit. Yeah. They won't be like in a friendship because like oh they will actually like care for you as a friend. It's mm. more like okay well, what are you gonna like what am I gonna get out of this yeah, friendship? Yeah like oh okay like, you, you help me with your nose? this. Yeah. yeah like you help me with this. Okay I'll help you with this. Exactly. Okay. But not everyone's like that I feel like. I mean just, like, we wouldn't like have met Alec if like you know. Yeah. Was like if, that. Yeah. So. Because Alec is pretty shy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So there was a lot of people that I was talking to at my high school reunion who do go to UA. I just like haven't seen them around. And we were talking about like, you know, friends, like the social life at UA and stuff like that. And they all told me that it's been very lonely and like very sad. And like I could completely relate to them because for me it's the exact same thing. Like honestly, it's really hard to make friends at UA. And yeah, if you're going to come to UA, that's something that you kind of have to bear in mind. It's just the mm. truth, right? It's just the truth. So. At least you can take a hit to your pride and like say hi to someone they don't say hi back. Mm. Yeah. So if you can take yeah. a hit to your pride, then you'll And be that's going to happen. That will happen to you at least yeah. once. It's happened to me. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. you guys, but when you say hi, they're like, oh, oh hi. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, well, oh. they just like, want to be by themselves. Oh, yeah. No, nothing wrong with that, but it's kind of nice if someone says, how do you? You say hi to them back, you know? <laughs> and I mean, back. When you asked Alec about Stein, because mm -hmm. I mean Alec sat like two seats away from us or something like that, yeah. did he? 
something like that. He sat like one level above us. Oh. That wasn't like, and was then like... that week he came and sat down next, like he came down the like where we usually sat. Mm. And that's why I was like, okay, well, okay. okay. When Dash asked Alec about Stein, he could have gone one of two ways. He could have said yeah. like um, completely ignored me. He could have completely ignored her and just be like, yeah, <laughs> um, or he could have just said like, oh no, like did you like you know start making conversation, and also. Through Alec, we've also met another one of his friends. Who? Oh. Connor. Oh. <laughs> Come on, friends. Jeez. Yeah, so we met Connor, who also sat with us. So that's another thing. Oh, if he was you, an OG. He helped yeah, me get he the is the man. Work. He helped me too. He's so good. So if you know, if you can't really make friends, you can you know you can make a friend and then get to know their friends too. That's another good way of like making friends. That's how we made a group. Yeah. Like I met Alec. Alec knew. What's his name? Connor. Connor. <laughs> oh, he's an OG. Oh, he was you, an OG. He you, was an OG. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him that like anymore. Yeah. I don't know. But like we all met through each other, and then now we're just like this yeah, one big happy family. And then also we went out to town, and then you know I brought my friend Ivy. Oh. She lives in the halls. Oh, Josh. And then my friend Ivy brought along her mate Josh, and then we all went out to town. We went to a photo here of town. <laughs> oh, that photo. Yeah. photo. yeah, next one. Um, okay, we've already covered. Would you say it's difficult to make friends at uni? Yes. Yeah. Alec? I feel like we've talked about this. Like, Pay attention. Time. Would you say it's difficult to make friends at uni? Yes. No. Huh? Oh, if you can take a hit to your prize. Oh, she's literally wearing pajamas. That's a mood. Oh my god, stop judging her. Ratchet. I'm not, it's a <laughs> mood. Okay, next one. Buildings. Where is your favorite spot to study on campus? Either library or OGGB. HSB or library. Um, I like to study in library or... <laughs> um, I tend to go to coffee shops a lot on Lawn Street and just study there because I kind of don't like to be in like uni. Anyways, international. Would you recommend your way to international students? Why or why not? Uh, if you're coming to make friends, probably not. I feel like it'll be really difficult because mm. not everyone's open and like willing to help, so no. Yeah. But that's like... Not your way, but New Zealand, I'd say yes. Like, yeah, New yeah, Zealand is definitely, definitely a good but place. But not for. like to study, because then it'll be really hard and then that language barrier. But I feel like they might have a no, lot of like. No, there's a lot of people who do study abroad, so I'm thinking Dunners. of them as well. So, what I would recommend if you're an international student and you are looking at your way because you know the reputation is good and there's it's a big uni and stuff like that yes the reputation at your way is good it really is a big good. uni there are a lot of things to do on and off campus but i would not really recommend your way for international students just because it is like they said it's very difficult to make friends like if you want to come and like you know if you're an international student i'm pretty sure you want to like make friends socialize and all yeah. of that stuff which can be really difficult at UA. It's hard to get around with no friends. It's the terms of like the friends thing and also oh, like yeah. if you want to go traveling and stuff like that maybe you want to go with like a group of friends and stuff like Auckland isn't very Big. like most people like to just take their own cars. People do take public transport but most people like to drive everywhere and like Auckland's kind of more spread out so I would, re I would recommend more like Victoria or Dunedin where it's a lot more social and a more robust sort of city and then I guess you can come to Auckland and like travel and and like go around and sightseeing and stuff like that right? Do you guys agree? Yeah. Okay. Am I, we're the only ones that are eating. Alex yeah Alex, like, he had three chicken wow. sprouts. My battery's about to die. <clears throat> so what is one piece of advice that you would give for incoming first year students? Join like some social clubs, do like basketball, join the teams, chess team, <coughs> debating, whatever. Just easy way to meet people or go Steins because uni will be lonely if you like don't actually meet people, I reckon. I reckon just at least try and make an effort to like, you know, reach out to some people like in your lectures and tutorials especially and that guy's like always staring at us. And come here. Yeah, you can meet a lot of people through that and you'll be fine. Yeah, and I would say... To, oh wait, I actually wrote it down. Oh, Advice yeah. I would give to first years is that most people tend to f My camera died, so we have to <laughs> film no, no, like no. this. I My last piece of advice that I would give is if you fail a paper, don't be bummed about it. It's fine because, to be honest, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world and take it as like a motivation factor to try harder and keep going 
and also just be present in your first year i mean our first year went by so fast so definitely um be present and enjoy your first year get out there make heaps of friends have fun um go out meet new people last question dash since you are <laughs> A, also a law student, what is one piece of advice that you would give to students who potentially want to do law? Um, I would say <clears throat> don't make it a competition because I know when I was going to start everyone's like, oh, it's like so competitive. The only person that you're competing with is yourself. So if you, you know, are putting in the hard work and you're really trying your best, then there's no way you could go wrong. Mm -hmm. That's so. really good. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't need to be a competition. Exactly. I mean, it does. I mean, healthy competition with yourself. Yeah. But there's no point in competing with others. You focus on you. Don't look at what other people around you are yeah. doing. And I mean, okay. if you're putting in your 100%, then there's no way you yeah, can go wrong. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I think that wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I have had a lot of DMs from people who like watch my videos and also people commenting on my like uni videos and stuff like that so i really want to do this video and what a better way to do it than with my two uni bffls <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to wrap up the video here thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give it a like subscribe and subscribe and comment down below and yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this with my two best friends. See you guys in my next video. Peace. Deuces.